Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Dream Moods Tarot. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. So I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Capricorn. How y'all guys doing? You know, um, Monday, you know, Monday evening. Um, for me, it's kind of, how you say that? Mellow, mellow. You know, not too hectic Monday as Monday, you know, sometimes perceived to people that um, it's hectic. But however, it's, it's chill for me. It's chill. It's a very chill um, day. But how y'all doing, you know? Um, any plans? Any Christmas plans, you know? It's always, I love holidays. I love, love, love holidays. But let's get to it. Universe, is there anything that you would like for me? To relate back to the sign of Capricorn. Okay. Thank you, universe. The sign of Capricorn. The sign of Capricorn. All right. Spirits, I think that was a lot of cards, but I will take it. I will take it. So, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy in reverse. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership in reverse. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Um, so, take it what resonates, leave what doesn't. But what I'm feeling um, in the energy that I'm coming from from these cards is that you are um, beginning a relationship. You're starting a relationship. It feels fairly new. Um, and if it is new, um, you know, congratulations. Because it's not right now at this time, you know, most people want to stay single. I mean, like they say, it's cuffing season. Um, but however, I feel like this is the year where people are actually looking into um, feeling their worth, knowing their worth, and um, they're getting rid of certain things. So when you come into and you're leaving 2020 with in a relationship, yes, it's a grateful, it's a blessing, it's a good feeling, especially if it's the right person. However, um, I have two, I have two storylines here. You know, there's one. Um, and it may not resonate with everyone, and that's perfectly fine. Or it's if it's not you, flip it. If it's your person, um, you know, stay, like, go where it fits. Um, this person, discuss with them how you feel. It looks like you guys are holding back some feelings where you are guys are lacking passion and f um, in the beginning because it's kind of rocky because you don't know if this person actually feels for you the way you feel for them. And you're doubting you're doubting the relationship and it just started or you are in a relationship you have been in a relationship for a while where now it's starting to feel as though you guys are losing passion you know um i think those who are just starting the relationship allow it to flow relax you know relax you know what i'm saying like it's 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 going to take its course however it's supposed to. If there's no negative think thinking, negative actions, then things will prosper a certain way. Not everything is glitter and gold. And we're not saying that everything has to be happiness. You know, there's times where, yeah, there there is sadness and um, where you guys have to take a step back. Um, for those who are already been in a relationship and is now, you know, um, going through where you guys are lacking the intimacy, y'all guys are pulling away from each other. However, I think you guys need to sit down, talk to each other about how y'all feeling. Um, I feel like this is potential. Um, I feel like in the beginning, you guys started off, it was wonderful, um, it was strong, and then it just started dying off. I don't know if, uh, I don't feel a third-party energy, and third-party energy, when I say um, third-party energy, it doesn't necessarily mean that the person's actually cheating or doing something behind your back with another person. Um, it could also be an addiction, it could also be um, where you guys haven't 
um, still going with the same habits um, that you've done in the past and that you're now bringing into your relationship where it's also having you lack some things. Um, you know, let's 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 get more into it. Um, let's get more into this. Let's see what else the universe spirits have for the sign of Capricorn. Okay, okay universe, thank you. This is the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Sometimes, okay, okay. <laughs> One more, one more, one more, one more. Let's clarify. Let's okay. All right, all right. Oh, this is too much, but however, I will take it. So we have the Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, the Lovers in Reverse, Knight of Wands, and the Sun. So what I'm feeling in this is that for the lovers that's in reverse with the nine of wands looking towards it it seems as if one's worried that the relationship is getting a little bit too rocky um that y'all losing hope but don't 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 allow what's going on around to make you feel insecure of what is actually unfolding before you. This can work with the sun as the overall energy because the, the spirits wanted me to let you guys know this is growing strong and this is for the one who's been in it, who's just started the relationship. There is a lot of potential. Um... And we're at the end. It it is it, it it is going to be successful. However, the one that has been in a relationship for a while and who are lacking um, compassion needs to inform the other person how they're feeling. I feel like one is worried about protecting their energy and their spirits, and and that they do not want. They do not want that person to know how they actually really feeling in the relationship is why they're actually lacking. You understand what I'm saying? So sometimes we hold on to not to unnecessary um, what others would say it's a secret because they're not actually telling you really how they're actually feeling because they're afraid to hurt the other person. However, they don't understand that that is why they're lacking compa the compassion and the love that they can offer this relationship. Because there's one that's insecure about certain things, but they need to talk. This person wants to stand her or him's ground, whatever gender. However... They need to have, you guys have to have conversation around why is it that you're insecure? What is it? Because you have this head strong, you know what you're doing. However, you got a lot of assets. You have a lot to offer the relationship. However, someone is feeling insecure that they're holding back. Why though? If this is your person, why hold back? I'm confused. You understand? Like I'm confused. And with the four of one of the four of wands, people people who are single in this reading I'm not single, but as just finding someone and you're just starting the relationship, you had options and you chose this person. And from choosing this person, you will be successful. You will be successful. And I think um, with more of understanding of, you know, what you guys really want in the relationship, it can make it work. But I think that other person, the other person that's, that's been in a relationship is struggling a little bit because they, they're, they're nervous. 
they're insecure. They're uh, you or your other person's insecure about something, and you're nervous that and you're nervous that the person may not like you as much as they did before. But they do. They do. They do. And it can and it, and for the overall energies with two of these feelings in the story, the energy nothing feels like it is um, wasted. It, that the love was in vain. I believe that you guys just need to sit down and talk about it. And I think someone is really holding and suppressing their inner truth because of something. It must have been an argument that you guys had and someone said something and now they're reflecting on themselves. And then the fact that they're prideful, they're not really speaking how they actually feel because they're they're like they're standing they're They feel like they're standing their ground because um, they're like, OK, fine. You think I'm not good at this or you think this person is good at that, then you know what? Or. It could be the smallest things that triggered the person to feel insecure that now they are testing the relationship. But then at the same time worried. How could you be prideful but still concerned and worried? Address it. One person's being very childish. Very childish minded. Let's see what's the overall energy. by energy and feelings I know when it's like when it's we'll probably be like all right enough with the shuffling <laughs> but it's the feeling that you get when you know that the the cards are like it's it's done you know one more time one more time I usually take two, but since the universe wanted to show out, conclusions are within reach in reverse. Step out of your comfort zone. Adjustments are required. What I say? Like the cards, the cards don't lie. Who is holding back? Is it you or your person holding back how something had made you feel? Communicate. Someone hurt you? Someone said something to you? Communicate. Express it. What you may think that because the person has said what they said to you, wherever it fits, because I can draw a lot of 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 assumptions of which of what played in it whatever fits however whoever is being child like minded and, uh, and and if they're not being child like minded they're suppressing what the person said to them that hurted their feelings if the conclusions are within reach is in reverse that's because n someone is being stubborn Someone won't move. Someone will not say what is bothering them. Yet, they're worried that they're not getting enough love in the relationship. Or the person that, you, the, um, that um, you're mad at is, is, not, um, is realizing that there is no compassion, but yet no one's speaking up about it. Conversation needs to happen if you want your relationship to to succeed because there is potential for it to succeed with the sun at the as the overall energy of the spread however for the universe to give you that advice adjusts are required however it's in reverse but what we're gonna do is we're gonna manifest what we want and if we want this relationship we're going to reverse this 
for the outcome to stay where it needs to stay and be where it needs to be. I mean, it's up to you. It's up to you or your partner. Someone's holding, suppressing how they really feel because of a hurt. They're hurt about something that you said or what happened, what argument had went on. Someone's suppressing how they feel. But that's all I have for you guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Till next time, peace.